Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Vijaswini from CSO. So my second seminar topic is holography. So what is holography? Holography is derived from the two Greek words, which means whole plus right. So we can simply state that holography is a science of producing holograms. It is an advanced form of photography that allows an image to be recorded in three dimensions. That is, unlike in normal 2D photography, uh, we get to record all three dimensions in this holography. Holography is a method of producing a visual three-dimensional 3D image of an object by means of light, wave patterns recorded on photographic plate. We'll see how it occurs in the later discussion. So coming to uh, who invented this great technique holography is Dennis Gobler, who is also called as father, father of uh, holography and holographic techniques. And uh, he also, because of this great invention, he received Nobel Prize in Physics in 1971. So, as we discussed before, hologram. While holography is a study of holograms, hologram is simply nothing but a photograph of an interference pattern which, when suitably illuminated by laser light, produces a three-dimensional image. Now, Let's see the properties of hologram. So if you look at these holograms from different angles, you see objects from different perspectives, just like you would if you were lo looking at the real object. Since, as we discussed before, it is a 3D representation of what we see. Um, similar to the real life object, we can see the object from all angles, from all faces of the object. Also, it is a divisible property. That is, if you cut in one half, each half contains whole views of entire holographic image. That is, if we, suppose, uh, let's let's say, if we have taken a hologram of a fruit, if we cut it, we can see the seeds inside it. That is, everything is visible in a hologram. So let's. This is a clear representation of how hologram works. That is, uh, let's say the star. If you are cutting it, we can see it from both sides, from this direction and also from this direction too, which indicates that it gives a 3D representation of objects. Now let's uh, see the working of holography. So for a hologram, a laser light, usually helium neon, which we laser, uh, which we discussed before, is used. Beam splitter device uh, and also a beam splitter device that uses mirrors and prisms to split laser beam into two beams. There is an object beam and reference beam. There is the beam splitter's uh, functioning is uh, it is used as both mirrors and prisms to uh, split the incident laser beam light to give an object beam and a reference beam. And also the mirrors are also important because they direct the beams of light to correct locations and holographic film to record image very of very high resolution. And also the hologram can be seen through the naked eye unlike the normal 2D photograph which can only be seen uh, after the reflection from lens. Also, image floats in free space and it does not require any screen like into the photography. Now, now as to how to create a hologram. So, uh, what we require are to create a hologram, a laser beam that is coherent light, that is, since we know that laser is coherent light, right, is split into two beams. There is a reference beam that stays undisturbed, uh, object that is object beam, strikes the object and then bounces onto the plate. So, uh, we, as we discussed this, the holography is working is divided into two main phases. It is recording and uh, reconstruction. Uh, while uh, we only require object in recording, for reconstruction, no such object is required because we are going to see the visual 3D representation of that particular object. Let's see what happens in the recording of hologram. As we can clearly see in this diagram, a coherent light beam, there's a laser light, is the beam splitter, and it is splitted into two beams. There is an illumination beam, which is left or converted to object beam, and a reference beam, which is unaffected. This uh, illuminated beam, what happens is it gets reflected on an object, collecting the data of the how the structure, the dimensions, and everything about the object, and it gets converted into an object beam, and it strikes photographic plate. And also the reference beam, which is uh, splitter uh, from the beam splitter also reaches here and this whole data whole light information is stored in this photographic plate this is what happens in the recording of a hologram 
Now let's see uh, what happens in the reconstruction of a hologram. So when a hologram is later illuminated with a coherent light, the resolution light of same frequency that created it, a 3D image of the object appears. That is, uh, as we said before, a no, no object is required because we are literally creating an image, a 3D representation of this uh, particular object here, the reconstruction beam. That is, your reconstruction beam is nothing but a laser light of the same frequency of that of the laser light we have used in this recording. So as this laser beam uh, instance uh, once again on this uh, photographic plate, what happens is uh, it forms reconstructed waveforms, thus resulting our required hologram, which is the virtual image of the object, uh, which, is, which, is, which the photographic plate collects the data from and gives us a clear 3D, that is a three-dimensional representation of the object, which is nothing but a hologram and which can be clearly seen with our eyes without any screen required or any lenses required. So coming to the application after the working of the hologram, now coming to the applications of holography. Let's see uh, all this application in detail. Firstly is optical computers. Now, optical computers, how we'll use holograms in this? Optical computers will use holograms as circuit elements. That is, uh, parallel uh, processing is made possible because when a hologram is at rest, all the information comes out simultaneously. Uh, that is, hologram is used as a sort of a circuit elements uh, simulator. That is, the hologram hits the uh, circuit elements uh, when address, which gives information as an output. So in this way, uh, holography plays a key role in this optical computer's construction. And also it has many biomedical applications. Uh, it is uh, mainly pursued in the US and Europe too. Holograms are made inside live organs through the optical fibers, providing more details than any previous alternate techniques. That is, it plays a key role in medical field because we can literally see the hologram of the inner organs of our body, which is very helpful in further research of the human body and inventing many medicines and vaccines uh, according to the structures of these holograms of these internal organs. It's also used in compact discs, uh, which we can see clearly, and grocery store, because in grocery store, we the scanners, uh, which we see normally, also use spinning holograms. And Holographic interformatory. What is it? The holographic inter interformatory is used in numerous laboratories for non destructive testing. It visually reveals structural faults without damaging the specimen. This one we already discussed the Ruby Lecture Experiments application. Similarly, uh, holography, which is the application of it, used in this non destructive testing in many labs, which plays a key role in many experiments. And holographic scanners are used in store checkout counters for reading the barcodes. A rotating computer generated hologram is responsible for both the scanning and the detecting of this scattered light. We normally see these uh, scanners in our daily lives, right? Holograph also plays a key role in this for scanners also. Holostore is a Holographic computer memory system being manufactured to replace your disk drive. It will have thousands of time, more memory, more capacity, and no mechanical movements, which is also very useful in future generation, in further future technological improvements too. Also, uh, it's also used in for many enjoyment occasions, like uh, in for video gaming, living room, which which is a uh, normal. Thing right now that is 3d video gaming by using uh, 3d lenses sorry 3d glasses not lenses because lenses are not necessary in this but just 3d glasses and teaching and education which we discussed before mainly in medical applications not only for research but also for education too so after seeing how useful the holography that is holograms are let's discuss how much uh, different or how superior, not superior, but how useful it is compared to the photograph, photography and what are the difference between this photography that is 2D recording process and holography 3D recording process. In photography, ordinary light can be used, but in holography, as we have seen before, only laser light can be used because only high intensity light can give us holograms. 
and infotography lenses are definitely required but as we discussed for holography no lenses are required it's a lensless system and screenless system we can just see the 3d images floating in the air directly with our eyes and also in photography in 2d photography the image has very poor resolution while in holography it has very high resolution since it collects uh, data directly from the structure of the object giving us a very high resolution hd image in 3d so what are the advantages of holography it is cost effective if that is affordable highly storage capacity compared to the 2d photographs because it is uh, just in with one hologram we can obtain millions and thousands of photographs of the 2d images at the same time because we are clearly obtaining a 3d objects whole image as a whole which is a combination of several thousands of 2d images so it has higher storage capacity it's increased feasibility of objects that is depth and enables the achievement of multiple image on a single plate and gives 3d images which we discussed uh, in the a reconstruction and recording of the hologram and its ability to combine with other technologies which also we have, as we've seen before it's there's a key role in optic computers in medical fields and it has many vast number of applications so coming to the a bit slightly disadvantages of this holograms it provides static images it cannot move that is uh, normally uh, as we know the video is a combination of many 2d images but we cannot do so with holograms it just gives a static images that is a static object's structure, but not uh, the, with the object moving. It also does not produce images of complex movement, uh, like in the videos or GIFs, but we cannot do that with 3D images, that is holograms. It requires complicated bizarre machinery to produce and view an image. As we discussed before, uh, there are so many uh, equipments or uh, Apple is required to produce these holograms or even the laser light which is used in this uh, holograms and its reference illumination beams are collinear which is also a bit problematic so as uh, aside from the disadvantages uh, uh, its advantages are, are clearly uh, dominating uh, since holograms plays a really key role in many vast science fields in our daily life so concluding this Holography, we can say that holographic technology has endless applications as far as the human mind can imagine. As we as we've seen, it has it has very vast opportunity in many fields, either in studies, in research, or in any further advancements in our technologies. Holographic technologies are not just about art or business communication, they are about safety, security, education, planning, and the strength of our civilization here and beyond. Holographic technology will become a very integral part of human societies and civilizations in future. Thank you.